This is a Bretting Model 12 in the mid 1930s. Uh, this chassis um, is in reasonable physical shape. I've um, just been um, doing a lot of work on the electronics because it was a real mess when it arrived here. Um, just about every passive component had been changed out for a lot of junk box parts. And I have um, replaced those with uh, reproduction Micromold tubular capacitors. And I will be reproducing these resistors as well. I just put regular resistors in there just to uh, just for the initial switch on to get the uh, set working. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is monitoring the voltage on the plates. I've got a signal generator connected to the antenna terminal. I've got a speaker with a field coil connected to the output. Uh, the output transform is actually in the set in this uh, in this chassis. It's not actually on the trans on the speaker. And the speaker is just a, a junk speaker out of the uh, out of my stock here. It's got a seventeen hundred ohm field coil. And the set specifies fifteen hundred ohms. It's not quite right, but it's it's okay. Um, so I've I've tried this set out a couple of times. Um, check the audio stages; they're working okay. Check the IF stages; they seem to be working okay, though the signal strength meter is not working. Um, when I inject into the uh, into the the mixer stage, and I've got the signal generator tuned to about one point four megahertz, and the set's tuned to one point four megahertz. So I'll switch it on. And wait a, a minute for it to warm up. That's audio. Audio gain control is fully up. Our gain control is fully up. And here the signal and I'm actually injecting 0.3 of a volt into the antenna so there's a that's one volt into the antenna so uh, there's a definitely an issue with the RF stages or the mixer stage I have checked out the um, the, um, the local oscillator on every band and it's working on every band so uh, it's not a local oscillator issue uh, so it's something to do with the um, the RF stages or the mixer stage. So um, I need to uh, to to focus on that next. But I just thought I'd do an initial power up. Um, the rectified voltage on the yeah, on the rectifier is um, just under 300 volts, with around 110 volts AC applied to the set. So it's pretty well right. Power supply is working good. But uh, it's certainly not sensitive enough to receive any signals. So um, next job is to find out what the problem is with the uh, the RF stages. <laughs> 